Hey unicorns. Um, I've tried a couple times to make this video. Hopefully I can just kind of stop with my like witty charm and just be kind of serious for a moment. And just share with you a little bit about what's going on. Um, I'm feeling pretty crummy today. I have four pills. Well, this, so this is, I have, this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The, at the end of Saturday, I'll be done taking pills. These are not all the pills. These are just my morning chemotherapy pills, um, which I just took. Uh, but last night I started the Temidor. Um, I'm about 13 hours into it, and it's really hitting its efficacy, I guess, or it's, it's being very um, effective right now um, that looks like a pretty intense abdominal pain uh, nausea um, fogginess of the head and so uh, you know I have set up my schedule so that most of my challenging times are when the kids are either at school or with their other parent um, and, uh, you know, hoping I can get some rest today. I, um, I'm so thankful for all the support. I'm just going to name that, try not to go too far into that, just because I want to talk about, um, two main things that have come up on my journey that people have asked about. Um, actually there's three, right? So the first is how much longer, how much more chemotherapy do I have to do? Um, my chemotherapy is I take two weeks of pills, I have two weeks off, I take two weeks pills, I have two weeks off. So I'm at the point where I'm in my two weeks of pills. Um, I have, including today, four more days of pills to take, um, and then I'll have two weeks off. During the two weeks off, there's a chunk of time, which is essentially my body um, detoxing from not having this medication on board. Um aka also healing from having that medication on board and uh really that's because you know the way that the accumulative half-life works for this medication is um, if i were to continue it through those two weeks it might cause system shutdown so um the meta the one i started last night um is a more intense pill and uh, certainly is challenging me to think about what I'm capable of today. Uh, when this video is done, I'm going to go crawl into bed. Um, I So to just get in about a few of the things here, uh, one of the questions that I have received, and I know that it comes completely out of a place of caring um, and kindness and you know, we all want to believe that we're connected. And I also know that there is some mystery around illness and life and death. And um, from my work in the world, I've certainly can acknowledge that when you are around people who are closer to those thresholds, um, it's almost like you can get a peek in to that mystery that you don't know about through them. And so I just understand that it's it's totally normal to be curious about it. Um, but just wanted to share with you and not as a judgment or a way to be like, make you feel, make anyone feel shame for having asked, but probably one of the questions cancer patients don't want to be asked on a daily basis is, have they told you what your prognosis is? Do you know what your prognosis is? Um, and I think part of that is because if they have a prognosis that is not, we don't know, you're probably going to live for a long time. If the prognosis is not that, then there's probably a lot of thought about, am I going to die? When am I going to die already? And so while I know that you are just curious because, you know, that's who we are, um, I would just ask you to consider 
not asking that question, but letting that information kind of unfold to you. Um, you know, because that's not what defines somebody with cancer. Um, they're not living for their death. They're living for their life. And so being able to um, help people going through chem chemotherapy remember who they are um, is also another beautiful way. Like, so maybe instead of asking, how's your prognosis, you could ask something like, have you seen your kids recently? If they have older kids who live away. Or have you worked on any new writing material? If there's somebody who has always written or, you know, and depending on what that answer is, you could always say, you know, if they're like, no, I've been too sick. Maybe a great follow up question could be something like, do you need some support into, you know, how to make that possible for you again? Is there anything I can do to help you find more joy or reasons for living right now? Um, because I, I promise you. That if you if a cancer patient is going through treatment, they've already thought about dying. Like it's it's happened, you know, and they're probably pretty pretty like there, like they they know what their prognosis is, so or they don't, you know, because no one really knows anything anyway. A doctor can say three to five years and it could be tomorrow. Um, thank you, coronavirus. You know, like, and not to minimize that. It's a real risk for me, trust me. Um, but I just, you know, would just throw it out there. It's been my work in the world. I've done a support of people um, in pregnancy and postpartum. I've worked with families who have lost babies. Uh, in utero and you know people who are faced with uh questions of mortality they're doing their work um and so I just wanted to kind of share that um you know I, I just will also say for me I know that I've been encouraged and asked to share what my prognosis is and for me personally um if it was only me, you all would know that information. And I would be sharing kind of what my understanding is of that um, in more explicit detail. Sorry, chemo moment. Nausea. Um, but I have a child in middle school. And already information that I did not believe was developmentally appropriate for her to know um, I had shared on social media and families that I think were just completely trying to be kind and compassionate um, in the community shared with their kids and that information then was shared to her peers in a way that was less kind and considerate and so I feel like first and foremost my primary job is to be a parent, an advocate, and a protector of my child. And so that's why I'm not going to share what my prognosis is on social media. Um, those who are close to me and I feel need that information, I believe already have it. Um, however, if you feel like for some reason I have left you out of that loop, well, let's check in. Um, you know, just like maybe come over for a cup of tea and I promise you if I feel like I want you to have that information I will give it to you um but also I would just love a cup of tea or to see you um you know if doing laundry is not up your alley that's okay you know I just would need you to heat up the tea water and clean up the cups when we're done simple um the other thing you know just to comment on um the feedback that I look great um, I, I, I really appreciate that, you know, cause sometimes I feel more like the mess and hot mess. Um, so, you know, having a kind of like, oh, you look great. It's boosts my spirit a little bit. Um, but it's also a little bit of a non-indicator of how I'm doing. Um, so that can be frustrating at times. Um, I think, you know, Part of where I'm frustrated is because I looked great, 
um, it led to me being misdiagnosed and improperly uh, had improper care management up until last summer uh, because this type of cancer does have you presenting like you look okay and your lab work comes back okay so you know just naming that while I appreciate the kindness of that I just wanted to bring clarity that um, just because I look healthy or look good does not mean I'm actually feeling that um you know, I have won the gold medal on many years in a row for resiliency in this lifetime. So I have been just trained from childbirth, essentially, to always kind of look like I'm okay and I got it together. Um, I know you can't physiologically chain things, but like it's both, right? Like emotionally, I'm going to act like I'm more put together because that was what I was taught and also physically, um, the way that this cancer type works, um, it does not necessarily make you look sick until maybe it's a little bit too late. Um, I know that, um, you know, it's not, well, it's too late to get any effective treatment, um, that I understand at this point and I know that some of you like really want to prove me wrong because we need a miracle I get it um but that's the reality I am getting a little bit foggy brained from the chemo it's really hard for me to talk now because I'm so nauseous and um the meds have been pretty hard on me today um which is also why like tea is good because here I am, I talked for 12 minutes and I need to go lay down. You know, my, my cheeks are starting to get a little more rosy. Um, but uh, keep hanging in there. Um, you know, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you, you know, talking with me about things. Um, those of you who are willing to talk about end of life or what the meaning of life is, like, that's beautiful too. Um, but just also just to let you all know that it's... Um, It's been a lot of work to go through this journey. And um, I have moments that don't always feel like um, it's going to have a payoff. So, you know, it certainly will be helpful to, like, if you see me, you know, ask about what kind of projects I'm working on lately. What am I doing to fuel my soul and to keep me alive? Uh, because that's really what I need right now. Um, I, I promise you I'm doing enough thinking about what my prognosis is and uh, reflecting on the fact that um, what I will share with you is that um, it doesn't feel like enough time. And um, and so while I'm here, I, I want to live my life living and not live my life dying. So that's that's what I'm committed to doing. Um, some days are easier to do that. Today's going to be a harder one. I, I feel it in my body. Um, and um, I'm just thankful for the support in the world. And probably going to now sign off. See if this video will upload and maybe reach out to one of my friends and be like, hey, I'm having a hard day. And see, you know, what I can rally maybe for some support this evening. So I uh, love to you all and appreciation and uh, thanks for sticking around for 14 plus minutes. Bye.